Okay, welcome to the first video of a series of videos for the module Thermal Fluids 1. We will be going through this whole module in in bits of uh, 10 minute videos okay, to so as to uh, enable a better understanding for the students by going through these 10 minute clips. I will try that out, maybe sometimes will be shorter, maybe sometimes will be longer. But essentially this is the first video. Okay. Thermal fluids one. So there are two words there. Thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Chapter one involves uh, fluid mechanics. Okay. So uh, before we start, we need to know the definition of a fluid. It is basically uh, both gas and liquid. Okay. So you will have the common uh, fluids air, also water, also steam, and oil. These are the main fluids that this module will cover. Okay, so um, for this chapter of fluid mechanics, we look at fluids that undergo uh, various types of forces. Okay, over here in the lecture notes you will see that uh, fluid is not uh, only undergoing a uh, pressure force, it is also undergoing a force called the shear force. Okay, so to put it simply, imagine you have a block. Okay, the two types of forces. Pressure force is a force that acts perpendicular to the surface okay this is your pressure okay it acts perpendicular to the surface okay another engineering word which is commonly being used is um, normal okay normal to the surface it also it means perpendicular to the surface so, uh, pressure, of course, um, pressure, units, the unit for pressure is Pascal. Okay. Pascal is basically force divided by area, which is your, the SI unit for force is Newton. The SI unit for area is meter square. So, we can say that one Pascal is the same as 1 Newton per meter square. Now, shear. Okay. Is also in terms of Pascals. It is also of force over area. Okay. So, what kind of force? So imagine the same block. Okay. So initially pressure is perpendicular. Shear is actually parallel to the direction of the surface. Okay. Parallel. So this is your shear. So uh, basically your friction, uh, friction along along the, the surface is your shear. Okay. And it is also uh, a Newton per meter square. It is also a kind of, that's why we call it the shear stress. Okay. So the very first topic, the uh, very first main topic of fluid mechanics is actually shear stress. But before we start on this shear stress, we need to establish something else. Okay. And you can continue with your lecture notes. to see that actually that something else is called density. Okay, some of you may have come across this term. Okay, density. Density is your mass over volume. 
Okay, so the units is kilogram per meter cube. These are your SI units. Okay, if it is a uh, cm cube, okay, you should change to meter cube. How to change? So this is uh, this is how you should change. One cm cube is equals to one cm times one cm times one cm. Okay, so one cm is how how much of a meter? Zero point zero one meter. Okay, so it is zero point zero one times zero point zero one times zero point zero one meter, which becomes meter cube. Okay, point zero 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 one meter cube. To put it simply, it is 10 to the power of minus 6 meter cube. Okay. You may also wish to know that 1 milliliter is 1 cm cube, and uh, 1 liter is 1000 milliliters. So, in fact, 1 liter is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube. Okay. Let's carry on with density now. So density is mass over volume, kilogram per meter cube. And there are some common densities that are uh, used in this module. Uh, and we denote density with the Greek letter rho. Okay, R-O-H-O, rho. So density of water is commonly uh, known as 1000 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, density of air is around 1.2 okay, kilogram per meter cube. Density of, it is inside your lecture notes actually, density of mercury, okay, the chemical name for mercury is Hg, is 13,600 kilogram per meter cube. And sometimes oil is, a, is slightly less than 1,000. So we are saying it's about 900 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, so this is over here. Um, so if I ask you, how many times is mercury denser than water? What would the answer be? How many times is mercury denser than water? Okay. Your number should be 13,600 over 1,000. So this will be 13.6 times denser than water. Okay. This we call the relative density. Okay. Which is also called the specific gravity. Okay. Every material has a relative density. Okay, it's basically how dense is it compared to water. So if I want to know the Rd of oil, all you need to do is to take the density of oil divide by the density of water. Okay, so you should get 900 over 1000. It is only 0 0.9 times denser, as dense as water. And you do realize that uh, uh, if the relative density is less than 1, okay, it will actually float above water. So oil floats above water. But if the dense, relative density is more than 1, okay, it will sink. So this is how you see it. So ice, the floating ice, should have a, relative, should have a density that is lower than your water. Okay? And uh, so these are the typical values. Lah. Okay, so uh, relative, relative density of air will be density of air over density of water. You'll get about 1.2 divided by 1000. Okay, I leave the number to you to calculate. But please note that relative density is a comparison between two densities. Okay, in fact, uh, 
they should have no it should have no units you see because once you put the units here divide you should automatically cancel so the 0 0.9 is essentially has no units okay so relative density has no units it is a ratio and finally we have one more thing which i thought it will be useful to, to introduce to you. It is called the specific volume. Okay, it is some kind of a curly V specific volume. This is actually the amount, no, the volume that a fluid is occupying for each kilogram of that fluid. Okay, so units will be the volume that is occupying per kilogram so this is the SI unit for specific volume okay so if you compare this with the units of density which is kilogram per meter cube do you see that they are inverse of each other okay so in fact if you know density you should know specific volume okay so this is how you how density and specific volume relate to each other. Okay, the next video we shall talk about the shear stress, okay? Having gone through the densities.